Hey, what's up everyone? This is Dr. Aaron Horshig here with Dr. Kevin Santana from Squat University. Today we're going to talk to you guys about a way to assess your hips. Now, we've already talked about how not everyone squats the exact same way. And sometimes it has to do with the way our hips are formed. So, we need to find out if maybe the reason why you're not comfortable in the bottom of your squat has to do with your hips. To assess our hips, we're going to have Kevin first uh, assume a position on his back and we're going to check out the rotation, the amount of movement in his hips. I'm going to lift his hip up to this position and then we're going to move it in and out. And this is checking how much rotation he has at the hip joint itself. Now external rotation is the amount of movement I can push his leg this way, while internal rotation is the amount of movement I can push his leg that way. Now if Kevin is limited either way, it might show that we need to do some mobility work. But if he has a large deficit one side versus the other, so if he has a very little external rotation, but a lot of internal rotation, it might show us that he has an issue in the way his hips are formed that we need to check out. So I'm going to have Kevin flip over on his stomach and we're going to perform what's called Craig's test. Now to start this, we're going to bring his leg up to this position and I'm going to take my hand and place it on Kevin's hip. Now what I'm doing is I'm feeling for the greater trochanter of the femur, which is basically the notch that's the most prominent on the side of the hip. From here, I'm going to move his leg in and out, and I'm feeling for where that notch is. Now when I move it in and out, that notch becomes more prominent and less prominent based on where the leg is. I'm going to stop moving his leg when I feel that notch in the most prominent position, the most lateral into my hand position. Now ideally, most people have a position where their foot is straight up and down or slightly out to the side. However, some people will end up over here. Now if that's you, that means that your femur is actually formed slightly different than most people and you have a slight twist in the way your body was formed. This is called femoral antiversion. And when it's excessive, it can change the way we squat. And this is why everyone will squat slightly differently. So, hope this video was informative for you guys and you can use this to help find a better squat position. Thanks guys.